as well iran trying to suggest that its air defense system successfully countered israel's attacks with limited damage that was caused to some locations a statement has been issued as well iran they're trying to downplay latest attack by israel iran says that the strikes resulted in a limited damage that's the big news that we are breaking for you at this point in time uh, while the reports are suggesting especially the confirmation that we've got from israeli defense forces suggests that it has completed a series of air strikes against iranian military strikes a uh, military si site specifically and uh, this uh, in fact was a significant missile uh, uh, this was a response to the missile attack by iran towards israel on 1st of october as per idf the strikes were executed in multiple waves over several hours but iran they're trying to downplay what really happened let's go back to pradeep datta who continues to be with us at this point in time uh, pradeep give us more details as far as this response the first response from khamenei is concerned iran specifically see if this is a standard response because no country will try to demoralize their people and uh, whenever any country come under attack they say it's a limited damage it has caused this was expected from the iranian side because a similar kind of a response we have heard from the israeli side also when they carried out attack and that's exactly what the iran is saying that most of those uh, attacks had been foiled thwarted uh, by the israel defense system and uh, there has been limited damage caused to them uh, but what is more important is that already there has been escalation this attack has happened at a time when the uh, us secretary of state antony blinken was in israel and he was trying to play a role of a negotiator between the middle east and uh, israel because because they wanted ceasefire in the region because they thought that this is only going to be better uh, for this region because enough of war will lead to lot many problems and at the end of the day it's going to have an impact on the world because world number this is a global village whether it's a russia ukraine war whether it's uh, uh, israel um, or iran war there is obviously there's going to be repercussion in different parts of the world it can lead to inflation it can lead to so many other problems because the world is interconnected so that's one of the reasons that india had also been insisting upon the dialogue diplomacy and deescalation from the uh, let's see to what extent uh, india will be able to negotiate and make them convinced that this is not going to be good for any of the countries here in this region but so far all i can say is that israel had been preparing for this and iran was also prepared for this because for the last 25 days everybody knew any time the israel is going to hit them out i have food is back in israel i was talking to the spokesperson of israel in foreign minister they said definitely we are going to target iran and we are going to send a message loud and clear that we have got a capacity we have got a capability we have got a resolve and a similar statement has come out today also where where the israeli defense forces spokesperson said that we have got the capacity as well as we have got the resolve if you look at the similarity it's a kind of a similar kind of attack of what was launched by india the surgical strike in pakistan right pradeep request you to stay on with us